I'm Jerry Hesch, and I'm teaching a whole body workshop, a orthopedic manual physical therapy joint uh, workshop. And um, one of our participants has a history of significant osteoarthritis in which he's had a total knee on one side, both of them. on both of them, bilateral total knees, uh, a couple of knee surgeries preceded that, total hip replacement, lumbar surgery, thoracic surgery, spine, okay, and your mother had severe arthritis. That's correct. Okay, and I'm demonstrating spring testing on the pelvis. I said pelvis, I did not say sacroiliac, but certainly some of the, some of the movement would happen through the SI when you push through the pelvis. There's no give here. I could stand on his pelvis. I feel like I'm pushing on granite. Now lie on your stomach. So I'm at the top of the iliac shelf and I'm trying to induce a rotational movement. Nothing. Nothing. I'm on sacrum midline. Nothing's happening. I'm using a reasonable amount of force. I'm trying to get inferior glide and there's no give there. And now I'm trying to create superior glide and there's no give there. I think that his sacroiliac joints are fused in response to a arthritic process. And it's rare to find this, so I'm happy for this opportunity to fuse it. The most reasonable thing I can do for him, and we actually have been working on improving his gait by treating his knees and treating his hips, and that's the answer. Uh, we also affected, um, well, side glide movement of the pelvis, and that can come from the lumbar spine, and it can come from the hips as well. Uh, but in my opinion, this sacroiliac joint is fused on both sides, and there's no spring testing. In contrast, let's have you get down, and then Charles, let's have you on the table. And so I can now take up the slack. You can see there's a certain movement and it comes to a natural stop. And so I've taken up the slack through this system, this lumbopelvic hip complex, okay, of which the SI is in there and movement does have to go through the SI, but I can't isolate movement only in the SI. I can only evaluate does motion go through it or does it not go through it. And here I spring it and it springs and it recoils, okay? Other side, I can take up the slack, I can spring it and it bounces right back. So he has mobility through his pelvis, he has mobility through his sacroiliac joints, and he has side glide mobility as well. Lie on your stomach. And so here is anterior rotation. I can take up the slack and then I can thrust it, and I feel that forward spring and that recoil. And I can go inferiorly take up the slack, and then spring it. I see his heels bob up and down. I can go superiorly, take up the slack and spring it. I can come to the sacrum midline, and I can load it and I can spring it. So this is a typical normal pelvis uh, in which there you, you can take up the slack and you can spring it. And the demonstration on Doug shows one in which none of that motion is present. And I would just bet if you had an MRI, which would be better than an x-ray, um, they've done the study, they, there's research on that, that, that an MRI is a better way to image it, and even a CAT scan would be better than that. I would bet that you have in the joint bridging, cross bridging. That would be my prediction. Thank you.